next I'm going to get out the bike rack that I purchased. And it says Horizon Global on the side of it, www.horizonglobal.com. And it is inside of a box, inside of a box. So I'm going to cut this box open, get it out so you can see it. It says it is a modular bike rack. It fits a one and a quarter hitch, which is what this is. One and a quarter is the littlest, the little one, and then they have um, a two inch, which is what most vehicles have. But two inch would be for towing much heavier, much larger things. So I'm gonna get this out of this box. I like the way it looks. You don't want to put any junk on your Porsche. So I'm hoping that this thing will double and work on my Jeep too. The only problem with the Jeep is the tire. You gotta have room, but you see how it looks. It's pretty cool looking. And it says, just add adventure. I like that. Fits one and a quarter hitch. So we're gonna get it out of here and open it and see what's going on. Stay tuned. So this is the instruction box. So always read the instructions even if you don't follow them. That's my rule of thumb. So that goes into the hitch. That goes up and down. So here's the, the tool kit to install it on. So I'm going to get to work. Let's see how long it takes. I am starting at 3 5. So let's see what we got happening here. So it says, all right, so it's telling me to go ahead and put this pin right here. So the pin screws in. So this pin has a thread on it right there. So you're going to take it and stick it through and then thread it in. It's got a giant a giant Allen wrench for that. I 
once it's threaded in and tight, it actually has a lock with the key to go on the other side, it looks like. This will also keep this thing from rattling. So it's got it fixed where you can lock it or you can can off. Use just a pin. I'm gonna lock mine. So I envision the front tire to my left. So the handlebars will be on this side. It says single bike carrier A and B into vehicle receiver, secure 12 minute rattle, anti-rattle hitch pin. I did that. Loosen the eight screws, connect the front tube, single support by lining slots. Slide rear rear wheel cradle, which I did that. That's this tube with buckle side facing rear with rear rear word. Seeing this, so actually I think I've got it backwards. I want the the front tire. I do have it backwards. So there's there's your first lesson, kitties. This is the front. This is the back. So it says to make the buckle fit backwards. So the buckle is right there on that side. It's a little little thing that, that hinges that you can push. So if they want it on the back, that means I've got to do this. Slide that on like that right there. So I'm going to pull this out this on this side. That is in. Now this is in. Alright, so it says that that will be there and then you take this and it will go something like that right there. Actually, it will go like this because you're going to put the bike up from this side. Spring nut, I mean spring washer, flat washer, or lock washer, flat washer. This then would go like this. And you lock lock it on the bike, and then there's actually a key to lock it to lock the bike down. I'm gonna have to see how the bike fits on there to know what the right configuration is. You could also put you could also put this here and lock it under the front tire. So, let's see here. I think you can pull this pin. Let's see what happens here. And I think the purpose of that is to help you get the bike on. And this bike is not light. This bike is 50 pounds. So I'm going to loosen these to get the angle. Gotta have a, there's an Allen wrench on the other side. So 
and that will fit the tire that way. That would fit the tire that way. So just let them fall where they where they were. loosen this for a second and I'm going to make this part slide out where, where that fits down in that crevice real good so I'm going to adjust it out just a little before I tighten it it in. You know what? I'm going to turn this, I'm going to move this to this side and the reason being you want it to be on the back of it so the bike can't fall off. If the bike bounced out from under this, it'd fall off. If you have this on this side, then it won't fall off. So I'm going to change that. So let me, let me loosen this. And it'll actually toggle out of the way over to the side. I'm going to show you. And this thing actually pivots out of the way. I can see it now. There and you can actually use this and crank down on it more. All right, so I'm going to uh, take the pressure off and take the bike off and tighten these because I haven't tightened these screws yet, and you can see it's leaning both ways. So I'm going to snug those things up and then put the bike back up there and try to finish it. Stay tuned. All right, I think that is it. All right, so I'm going to load the bike to show you what that looks like. And it'll come up and tilt like that. You would take the bike back up in place, it'll lock in, there's a little pull, pull this and turn it over, she locks in place. and I like to build these things, when I'm doing something like this, I can sit down and read the directions, and probably do it a lot quicker, but I want to see the things that you're going to run into. If you're like me, I really don't like to read the directions, if I'm being honest. I just like for things to work. And uh, now we're going to lock. So that's in there, and it's pretty stout. You can take this and lock it where that right there cannot be squeezed, and the bike is, is right there and safe. Now you put your pin 
And it also has another position, which I thought was interesting. You put the pin back in. I'll show you that other position. That may be like if you're going to the house. Oh, you know what? I'm crazy. That's so you can ride around with the with the hitch on the car and fold it up. So that makes sense to me now. Because I don't know that I can get this car in my garage with the bike on it like this. I hope I can. But if I can't, it makes it where you can basically tilt the uh, hitch forward. That makes perfect sense. So she is right there, friends. She will be there till the cows come home. I like it a lot. So that's the installation of the Rolla. Let's see what it is. Rolla Convoy Modular Bike Carrier. Part number is 59307. And that is, well, it's saying for a quarter inch hit, yeah, it hitch, which is what I got. And I think it looks pretty cool, and I'm excited to go ride. Thank you so much for watching. And I have a bike and a rack on the back of my Porsche. I love it. So I highly recommend this. I'll watch it for a few days, of course, before I put this video out so you know what the experience was. But so far, so good. I really like it. Thank you for watching. So there you go, friends. Bike rack on the back of a Porsche 986. I'm really happy.